If you're an enthusiast like me, you know it's exciting when new car parts arrive and it's time to work on that car. You know, installing some lowering springs, a new set of wheels, a ladder exhaust. Those are the fun things to do on your car. The things not so fun, flushing a radiator, changing your oil, you know, doing changing out busted out light bulbs. Maintenance tasks are not fun, but they're also very, very important. And a lot of us focus our time on performance work and not so much on the maintenance. So today we're gonna to talk about 10 forgotten maintenance tasks that are very important to do on your Mustang. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is filters. And a filter's job is to do just that, filter out contaminants we don't want to get somewhere. Now we all know about an oil filter. When you change your oil, you change your filter at the same time. We also wanna change our air filter regularly. Modern cars, especially the modern cars, have a cabin air filter. That keeps contaminants out of the interior of the car where you spend all your time, so you'll wanna clean those up as well. But also, fuel filters. Again, a lot of people don't think about a fuel filter. If you have an older car, every 30, 40,000 miles, that's something you wanna do. So keep in mind, like I said, we all remember the oil filter, but there's plenty of other filters on your car, and you wanna maintain those as well. The next thing on my list is gonna be tires. When we buy new wheels, we all think, okay, time to buy new tires. But often besides that, we don't necessarily think about the tires. And depending on what kind of tires you have in your car, if you have Sport Cup 2s on a new Shelby, you might only get a couple thousand miles out of those tires, where some other ones will wear a lot more. If you're not sure if your tires are good, you can always try the penny trick. Put a penny head down. If you can see the top of Lincoln's head, you need new tires. These are all things you want to consider with your Mustang as far as maintenance goes. The other thing when it comes to tires that everybody forgets about is your spare tire. Now, I know a lot of the newer cars, like this 2019 here, don't have a spare, they have a compressor, but again, make sure the compressor is there and working properly. If you have an older Mustang like this 95 behind me, that has a spare tire. Make sure you check the pressure on your spare. People forget it's there until they need it, then they go to put it on their car and it's flat and it's completely useless. So again, make sure you maintain the tires that you're using regularly, along with a tire that you might need in an emergency. The third thing on my list is gonna be oil. And obviously people are like, yep, I know oil changes, I have to do them. Yeah, but you have to remember to do them. You know, newer cars are gonna tell you to do oil changes, but a lot of times your older cars won't. And again, even if you're not driving that car a lot of mileage, you wanna make sure you check on that oil annually and swap it out in the car. Now again, when it comes to oil, it's not only about changing it, it comes down to checking it. You know, if you drive your car hard, you just had it on the track, you know, you're doing autocross, drag race, whatever, check your oil afterwards. Make sure you're not burning oil. Look at the oil, look at the color of the oil, make sure it's not too dark, make sure there's no metallic in it. Make sure you're not getting like that, you know, milkshake look out of which could be a blown head gasket. So again, we all know you wanna change your oil, but you also wanna maintain it between oil changes. The next one on my list is gonna seem easy, but it's often forgotten about, and that is wiper blades. I've seen cars, the wiper blades have dry rotted to the windshield because people simply don't use them. And I know a lot of you guys, your car's never seen rain, never gonna see rain, but you know what? That time you get stuck in the rain, you're gonna need your wipers. And if it's a daily driver, you definitely wanna have a good set of wipers. If those wiper blades are smearing over your windshield, it can make it harder to see than having no wipers at all. And along with the wipers, make sure you have windshield washer fluid. Again, if your windshield gets dirty, you need the wipers to clear it, but you need that fluid as well. There are both two things a lot of people, again, like your spare tire, you don't think about it until you need it, and when you need it and it doesn't work, it can be very dangerous. Next on my list is also gonna be under the hood, and that's gonna be belts and hoses. Again, these are two things a lot of people don't think about until they break. You know, if you're driving somewhere and you lose your belt, you're gonna lose everything. You can lose cooling, power steering, brakes. It can be very, very dangerous. So again, check your belt regularly. Check it for cracks. Just like your tire can dry rot, the rubber can crack, belts and hoses can do the same thing. Keep in mind your coolant system is under pressure. So that hose has cracks in it and you're constantly creating pressure with the cooling system. Eventually it's gonna fail and it's gonna leave you stranded somewhere. So again, when you're working under the hood, doing anything else, changing your oil, doing performance work, whatever, take a quick look at those belts and hoses. It can save you a lot of frustration in the future. So next on my list is gonna be lights. And that comes in a lot of different ways. First of all, make sure all your lights work. You know, get a friend, hit your brakes. Make sure all your brake lights are on two to three, depending on what kind of car you have. Make sure your turn signals work. Make sure your hazards work. Make sure your headlights are functioning properly. When it comes to the headlights, make sure they're also aimed properly. If you put an aftermarket set of headlights in your car and they're aimed down at the ground, you know, the first time you're gonna drive that car at night, you're not gonna be able to see, and that is extremely dangerous. And also, if it's an older Mustang, consider lighting upgrades. We have LED lighting that fits all the classic Mustangs. They're very easy to install and they're a heck of a lot safer and make it much easier to see at night. So again, make sure your lights are working. And if you're using older lights, consider an upgrade. 
Next on my list is gonna be your braking system. Now, a lot of people don't worry about brakes until they start squealing and making noise, and it's like, oh, it's time for brakes. Well, at that point, honestly, you're almost damaging what you have left, and you may have to actually replace more than normal. Also, check your brake fluid. Make sure it's at a regular level, it's not lowing down at all. I mean, if you look at it, and you see your brake fluid's low, well, then it's time to have that brake system checked to make sure that you're not losing fluid or basically where you're losing fluid because if your system's going low, you're losing it somewhere. And if you lose brake fluid and lose brakes, well, that's not a good thing. So again, keep an eye on the brakes, check your brake pad thickness. If you're not sure how to check it, you can go to pretty much any auto parts store. They'll take a quick look for you and save you the time and trouble. And again, brakes obviously extremely important, so keep an eye on them. The next thing on my list is again, something nobody ever thinks about until it fails, and that is your car's battery. I mean, the battery, you're not starting a car without it in most cases. Sure, you can push start a stick shift, but in most cases, you need that battery to start your car. And batteries have a lifespan. You know, if you're not sure, stop an auto parts store, have them scan your battery and check your battery. They also have dates on them. If your battery is seven, eight, 10 years old, it's due for replacement. You know, think about household use, how many batteries go bad, how quickly they go bad. Well, your car battery is the same way. Also, check the terminals. Look for corrosion, look for damage. If they're corroded, clean the terminals. Again, the battery will last longer if you maintain it, but also keep in mind they only have a certain amount of life, so make sure you have a good functioning battery in your car, because again, it's gonna fail you at the worst possible moment. Now the next thing on my list is mainly for those older Mustangs out there, but any older car for that matter, and that is your seat belts. Now I know really old cars didn't have them, and the 60s Mustangs just had lap belts, but again, you wanna make sure your belts are working properly. I mean, it's never a bad idea to upgrade to more modern belts, but even if you're still using a classic belt, check the webbing, check the brackets where they're bolted down, make sure the stuff is solid. You know, seat belts, one of those parts that you wanna use every time you drive your car, but honestly, you never wanna to have to actually use the seat belt. You don't want it to fail, especially. So again, check that webbing, look at the belts. If they look frayed, they're very, very easy to replace or repair. Now, the last thing on my list, and this is gonna be pretty generic, but that's gonna be fluids. Now, we all think, okay, I need gasoline, check my oil. There's a lot of other fluids in your car. You know, when's the last time you flushed your coolant? When's the last time you flushed your brake system? How about your transmission? Have you done a filter and fluid swap on that? Your rear end, again, gear oil goes bad over time, just like normal oil. These are all things you wanna check, especially if your car has a lot of miles. You know, your brand new 2019, no, it does need all that maintenance done the first year or two. But again, if you're driving a car from the 80s, 90s, even the 2000s, so those cars are getting older and all those fluids should be checked and maintained. Now obviously we came up with 10 things there, but there's a lot more to it. You know, you've got grease fittings, you've got your U-joints, all things if you're driving your car, you wanna check and make sure you maintain. And again, we all love performance parts, we love going fast and turning and looking good. But again, doing these basic maintenance tasks will make your car last a lot longer.